It could be anywhere from a nuclear power plant to an electrical power plant to water systems. You, any of the systems today that used to be just physical systems are now being controlled by computers and those computers are vulnerable. The DETER project is funded by the Department of Homeland Security. We've been operational for 10 years. It's a research program about how do you do scientifically based cybersecurity experimentation and test. Security is very fast paced environment. You are up not against some uh, natural phenomenon, you are up against real live people, smart people who are really motivated. I like the puzzle of security, um, the trying to uh, out, outdo somebody else and figure out things before they do. It's a kind of an arms race. I'm interested in cybersecurity in general and cybersecurity in the smart grid in specific because this is a new topic that's uh, opening new directions for research. So I can understand how the software works and try to find all the bugs, the defects. We're trying to create like a more con comprehensive and uh, and safe uh, experimentation platform. There were a number of attacks that were targeted at banks in early 2012, specifically at banks. Then we've seen what's happened to consumers with things like the credit card attacks that happened with Target in late 2013 and early 2014. So I think that at USC, it's really important that we can expose students throughout our engineering school who might be studying mechanical engineering or nuclear engineering, but could have an opportunity to learn something about cybersecurity too. I actually got my PhD at USC. I stayed here for a postdoc uh, where I worked with the SAFER project, um, which used DETER. I'm responsible within the cybersecurity team for modeling and simulating cyber physical threats. We have been analyzed how users use the test bed and try to improve the DETER lab resource allocation algorithm. We've really been fortunate to have a number of students who have been working on DETER for quite a number of years. DETER lab provides easy uh, um, interface for students to try out different security scenarios. Working for ISI um, along with USC is, is a great opportunity because you get exposed to a lot more uh, research ideas that are both sort of industry and military minded. I can meet a top research scientists here. I can share my ideas with them and also the teach me a lot in coding, in programming, in system design. This, this actually helped me in improving my technical and research skills. The need um, for trained cybersecurity professionals is enormous. It's not um, anymore just losing some money. Uh, the impact is that the lives could be uh, endangered because, for example, the planes can't land or the um, power system is down in the hospital. It's a critical time and it's a critical job. So if you are actually talented in, in cybersecurity, I think the possibilities are endless. There's plenty of uh, opportunities within the government, uh, within industry, within research, and we, we need people. After graduating, I plan to work in academia. I will target the industry. I may consider opportunities in industry. The problems in cybersecurity are so deep that we really need to be looking out five to ten years, not just trying to fix all the holes in the dam today.